Hello and welcome to the ninth video in this Java series for beginners. In this video we're going to be looking at strings and uh, characters. So the first thing we're going to do is look at the string variable type. So we've seen a uh, literal string usage uh, if we just do system.out.println. You can see right in here we can put speech marks and write stuff like hello world. So it's all very well using these um, literal values here. But what if we want to make a string variable? What if we want this hello world to be equal to a variable so we can use it in other places? So let's go ahead and take a look at the most basic form of this. If we go ahead and write the word string, uh, make sure it's uh, capital S because it's not actually a primitive type built into Java. It's actually an object and we'll be looking at that later on. Uh, but for now, just write a string with a capital S. So this is going to declare a string variable type. We can give it a name as usual. Uh, we're gonna we'll call it message and then set it equal to uh, we can just copy and paste this so exactly the same as if you were declaring an integer or whatever just slightly different syntax we're declaring a string variable type not an integer obviously we give the variable a name as in every other case and then we set it equal to a string and bear in mind it has to be in these speech marks here you can't uh, you can't not have these speech marks you need them in there to make sure uh, the Java compiler can read it properly. So if we go ahead and system out print line and we print out the message, you can see we get the same effect because we've set hello world equal to this message here and then we're printing out that message. So let's look at some of the functions we can do uh, with strings. So let's go ahead and make space between these. And let's do different things with this string message here and then print them out, see what happens. So if we go ahead and write message and then put the full stop, we can see all of these functions to do with the uh, string. And there is a lot of them. Uh, a lot of them uh, won't be, we won't be using like ever, but a lot of them we can use. So let's go ahead and do the first one. We'll go ahead and do concatenate here. You may have seen this in uh, other programming languages, but... Um, if you don't know what concatenate means, it basically means uh, sort of uh, add on to the end a different string. It's basically like uh, adding numbers together, except you're adding strings together. So if we have this hello world here, and then we say message dot concatenate, and then go ahead and write uh, a different message. Um, So we can add that onto the end of this hello world message here. And this message, uh, what this does, this string does here, it doesn't actually set the value of this message equal to this plus the string added on here. It's actually just going to return the value of what it would be if, if this was added onto this here. So we're going to actually need to set message equal to that. So we can say message equals that. So what we're doing is we're initializing a string variable called message equal to hello world then we're setting message equal to uh, this mess the message itself and then we're concatenating on this string of text here so when we hit run we can see we get that concatenated string we've merged this string with this string using this concat method so there's another method we can use. It's called, uh, there's two methods actually I'm going to show you, uh, called two uppercase and two lowercase. And these have uh, various uses. First of all, we're going to say message again. We're going to say equal to message dot. And then we can say, you can see them here, two lowercase, two uppercase. And you probably guessed what they do already. You can just click them and then do a semicolon. When we hit run, you can see every character that was capitalized changes to lowercase and then vice versa if we say to uppercase we can see everything goes all caps so those were three pretty simple functions that i've showed you um we're not going to go in depth on each of these functions uh, just because they're pretty simple and i'm literally just showing you them uh so just for sort of um educational purposes well, I mean, this is a tutorial. That's what I'm doing for everything, obviously. But this is uh, basically pretty simple and it's not that hard to grasp. So that's why I'm just going over it pretty quickly. So let's remove these ones we had here. Uh, now let's see how we can um, 
let's see how we can use individual characters inside uh, the string and how we can manipulate them. So you remember there's an inbuilt variable type called char uh, for character. And we can set this equal to any individual character uh, that we have on our keyboard. And um, we use the single quotation marks instead of double quotation marks. Uh, so what we can do with a message is we can break it down into its character parts. We can break it down into the H, the E, the L, the L, etc. So let's see what we can do using individual characters. The first one we can do, uh, or another easy function I can show you, is replace. And it replaces one character, a character that you specify, with another character. So if I say message is equal to message.replace and it's the second one here with the characters. It takes two parameters. The first one is which character do you want to replace and the second parameter is with what do you want it to, to replace it with. So in the single quotation marks we can say for example let's replace the uh, the lowercase o's with uh, zeros and then let's copy this line down and then we could say replace the E's with 3's and we can replace the L's with 1's. So this uh, doing these three functions here uh, all the O's it finds it will replace with 0's E's replace with 3's and L's replace with 1's and you'll see if we run this we get uh, hello world with the numbers uh, changed for letters so the replace function, again, pretty simple. Uh, we're setting message, the variable here, equal to itself, but replacing different uh, characters within it. And then when we print it out at the end, we end up with this. So let's now break the string down into its character elements. And we're gonna use the for loop that we learned in uh, previous tutorials uh, to, do a, to make arrays of characters, and then we're gonna loop through them. So let's go ahead and start with our hello world message that we have here. So we're going to break this hello world message down into an array of characters. And we're going to do this by saying uh, char array, like so. And then we're going to call it characters. And it's going to be equal to the message dot, and then the method here to char array. And it's as simple as that. We now have an array of characters here, which is pretty much the same as doing uh, like so. This character array, actually let's not delete all of that, we'll just comment it out quickly. This is basically the same as uh, having this, the H, comma separated E, comma separated L, comma separated L, etc. And then it would say hello world, all spelled out with each individual character um, being a separate uh, slot in this array. So with this character array, let's go ahead and loop through it uh, using the for loop. So we're, from last tutorial, we're going to write for, and then we're actually going to do it a slightly different way. This is a different way you can use uh, for loops, and it's a pretty cool way. It's an it's a way you can loop through. Um, it's a, it's an easy way to loop through arrays when you know you're not going to need the value of uh, the the integer that's incrementing each time, and a lot of practical cases in Java, you will need the the integer that's incrementing. You're going to need the value of it, the specific uh, iteration that you're on of the loop. But in this case, if we just want to print these out, we don't actually need the value. We can go ahead and do this new syntax for the for loop. And the syntax is we first say a variable type and then just give it a name. So we'll just say char c. And then we do a colon and then write the array we wish to loop through. So let's go ahead and do characters. And then we're going to do the spike brackets like so. And what this basically says, it says uh, loop through every value in the array characters and on each iteration assign the value of that iteration to this variable c. So the first loop, uh, c is going to, the first iteration, c will be equal to h. The second one, it will be equal to e. The third one, l. Fourth one, l, etc. So if we go ahead and system.out.println these, and do C, uh, passing this variable, we'll see that it prints out each character individually like so. And if we actually change it to print instead of print line, so it doesn't move it to a new line, 
you'll see that it prints out the message normally, just individual characters being printed out. So this was just, uh, this video was showing you some basic string functions we can use, uh, how we can change a string down into its uh, core components of the individual characters, and also the new way that you can write the for loop.